Skaze Denise Zagose Dais Chief Dolly Logan and to her territory for welcoming us here today. Play to name. See Dai Karina Lewin, Chislata Carrier Nation. I come from the Frog Clan and I'm a proud representative of my community and of the organization. On behalf of the Board of Directors of Kerry Sikani Family Services, Member Nations, and our CSFS staff, and the leadership in the room, I offer my greetings and appreciation to the nations we serve, to the community members, our valued partners, and our friends of our organizations. This year, we have chosen the theme of building history together to inspire and focus the updates we bring to you about our services over the 2022 and 2023 fiscal year. We chose this theme as CSFS is in the midst of an exciting expansion. And we, we are growing our services as well as our operations alongside to accommodate new and enhanced ways to support the communities that we serve. With the construction of the Tachik Lake Healing Center, this is one of this is a, a project that I've been with, um, working with alongside CSFS staff and community members um, to create a healing center in the north. All of our healing centers are of this magnitude are down in the south or not in the territories that our people live in. So we all know that healing is part of being on the land. So it's really exciting to have this treatment center come to fruition because we've worked on it for, um, in my time, about 20 years. And, and we've finally got the ear of government and funders. And the, I think the realization, because Kerry's County Family Services have, have a, a reputation of actually getting the work done in a holistic, culturally appropriate manner. And that is what caught the, caught the ear and the eye of government funders and also all of our other partners that are supporting us in this very important work. So this treatment center is located near, uh, near the Saikas First Nations, Masi Saikas, for allowing us to conduct our business there. The center is going to be a holistic approach not only for what we found, we find over and over in our communities is that the detox portion of what work needs to be done on the treatment piece is what keeps our people from succeeding, not because, it's, not because that it's, it's a bad thing, but it's a mainstream approach. And we wanted to look at a holistic approach where we had the, the detox and then going right into the treatment program and then the aftercare. All those components are not part of other treatment facilities. So I'm really proud of the concept that we have for Tachik Lake. The other is the Foundry Youth and Mental Health Project that we have um, groundbreaking in Burns Lake last month. This project, again, I've watched the staff work on very diligently and um, my hands are up to Travis Holick for really pushing the pen on this. We looked at when he proposed, he brought the proposal to us and we looked at it and it was so intricate, but Travis pushed through and he, he didn't let up on trying to access the funding for it. We were successful. That mental health services for our youth in community is another huge step for Cary's County Family Services because our youth are the ones that are dying at an alarming rate from the opioid crisis, from all the different issues within their lives. So this center will be able to help the six First, communities, First Nations communities in the Burns Lake area, but also the surrounding areas. So thank you very much for all the hard work. I see the step-by-step -step, um, processes it takes to actually get to the end result, which is a facility and a center and the services for our people. 
So in the development of the clan houses, there's another champion in the room. We have, um, we, we, we want to set up clan houses that will support families and community for whatever their needs are in regards to um, domestic violence or the healing piece or parenting pieces that go with um, raising families. So we've got another champion in the room and that's Sandra Isaac and she's, she's in the room today. Sandra, thank you very much for all your work you've done because um, she was kind of like a historian in this piece of seeing, you know, what, what did our communities do? And she went com community to community and she looked at our history within each individual communities. And then she started putting together the um, proposal to have clan houses developed in our communities. So that's gonna be another substantial piece. And this whole, all these pieces, I want to see the end where they all come together and our people start being completely healthy within community and having the opening with the drumming. That's, that's a start because it always gets me at the beginning of a, any kind of gathering. Other work that Carrie Sikani has done along the way is jurisdictional law and child safety programs. We are building out the vision of our elders and our ancestors. They had, it, they had the vision from the very beginning for the organization, and that was well over 30 years ago. Our founding matriarchs wanted social and health services for our communities that are based on the tradition and cultural ways. And we are seeing that vision today with bricks and mortar developments but as well as increasingly enhanced services. None of these enhancements would be possible without the support of communities that we serve and we are when the strong leadership from all of you that guide us in our planning and other progress. Without you, our community members, the leaders, we would not, uh, and the leaders, we would not be able to build and to grow. We're also grateful to the many community members who chose to work at Cary Sikani Family Services. It's always been a priority for this organization to build capacity for our member communities and to employ staff that reflect community values back on the members we serve. And we're always encouraging any of the, the um, youth in communities that if there's, if there's a program or a service that Carrie Sikani Family Services currently provides, and that includes the nursing staff, the nursing piece, um, doctors, um, all the technical pieces, IT, I heard today. So like all those services for our youth that are up and coming, let them know that Curious County Family Services doors are open to mentor them into those fields. We're grateful to the many com community members that have, have this peace in them that have come to work with us and to, to know the ground, the trace back to their ground roots. The CSFS Jurisdiction de Department is a leading program in the creation and reestablishment of our own laws, and they continue to do the vital work in regaining jurisdiction over child and family well-being, and I commend them for this crucial work. I extend my most sincere and kind regards to the staff and leadership of Kerry Sikani Family Services. You, you chose to come to work every day to put to perform the important services for you, that your work demands. And without each and every one of you and your unique roles, we are able to make all the services and future planning possible. For this, Masicho. Warner Adams has always remember, reminded us that we are in the same canoe and we need to paddle together. So I thank everyone from our staff to our community leadership for your collectively, collective hard work in sharing our labor and vision 
to continue to serve and employ, power our indigenous peoples and build our communities. It's an exciting time to be building and developing the vision of our ancestors and elders together. To the CSFS board of directors that are in the room and the executive management and to the entire staff and all of our elders that continue to guide and lead us, must see Cho.